Uh, I would be delighted to answer any questions you may have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative. I just have one question about, I think you serve on the Finance Committee, and uh, uh, do you contemplate uh, shedding sunlight on tax credits and uh, companies that are getting large tax credits, expenditures, and those and the like as part of this uh, project? I absolutely hope so. Um, I have no excuse, um, or I don't support any excuse that anyone has to keep any information relating to what government does in terms of giving away tax credits and keeping it secret in any way or not in front of the public. The public should have access to every dollar that we spend uh, and uh, scrutinize it and every dollar that we tax credit or provide loopholes that are not productive. For those of you who uh, have served in finance with me, you know that I'm against credits that go to corporate structures because the only thing they do, they create inefficiency in the economy. You're supporting one in favor of, in favoring one against every other enterprise in the economy. And uh, the only thing you're doing is really subsidizing and not really creating jobs in the long term. Uh, let me give you, let me t talk about, um, since you gave me that opportunity with relation to what just happened in finance recently where we're going to be spending $69 million to create 801 jobs. That is absolutely nonsense. Uh, if we spend $69, $69 million to create opportunities for most small businesses to thrive instead of spending it in for one corporation, uh, we would get a lot more jobs created and a lot more income created. The data is out there. Any economist who has actually studied the labor market and its output uh, production and uh, benefits uh, will tell you that. Uh, so I, I do agree, and the public should know that, and the only way to know it is really we have it all online. Thank you. Are there any questions? Uh, Representative Schofield. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you for your testimony. Uh, I just have one question, and, and that is I recently got in the mail a postcard kind of thing from the Yan Yankee Institute or something of that name. Um, and they have a searchable database of all uh, salaries, state employee salaries, all contracts, all grants online. I haven't actually searched through it for more than two seconds. I just was curious mm -hmm. as to, but is, does that not go as far as what you're suggesting or? Um, let me, uh, yeah, you, uh, Representative uh, Schofield, I made a comment uh, up front on that issue, oh, but I, let me, re let me re reiterate to actually elaborate a little so people will understand what I was saying in case there was some misunderstanding anyway. Uh, I did go online myself and I did some searches, uh, including my own name, um, my um, better half, and somebody else uh, that I know, and I found at least in two of the cases, two out of the three cases, significant errors. Significant errors. Um, so one of the problems that I have is when you allow the public information, in my opinion, to be manipulated by those that have political agendas, you're going to get a totally different result than what you should be putting out for the public. And therefore you're misleading, and then you have the, talk, the uh, head talks on the radio shows and uh, everybody else taking erroneous data and exploding them 24 hours a day and giving the wrong impression as to what we're doing up here. Um, I believe very strongly that the, the public has the right to know everything we do, and every dollar that we spend should be available to, available to them online for them to scrutinize. But I don't think it should be left up to politically oriented groups to determine how to manipulate or adjust the, the data you know, in a way that uh, reflects political, uh, perhaps, uh, um, interests rather than accurate data. Uh, to, in, in, in relation to that, I remember seeing the head of this organization on Channel 3's uh, State of the State, and the, um, the unfortunate thing is the only thing he emphasized was UConn, uh, X number of people, over 200, are making over $100,000. Of course, they're doctors. Yeah. They're doctors. <laughs> what, do they, what do you think they're going to make? PhDs. Uh, so th no explanation whatsoever about how, why and how they make two, over $200,000 $100, and over. It's just simply an uh, exaggerated statement that inflates the public's uh, um, uh, you know, the, the public gets uh, basically angry with us in a sense. But I, I, on the other hand, I did say that we have to be careful how we spend funds because when we, we look ahead over the next 20 years, I'm not going to be here, I can guarantee you that, but uh, when we look ahead, we're going to have a horrible time. The pressures to finance the elderly, which is an, it's increasing to 75 million new retirees. 
talking about the national level. We are worse in that case. The state of Connecticut has a worse demographic situation than the national average. Mm -hmm. We have to protect the elderly by planning ahead now. We have to protect our children by planning ahead now and not wasting resources in areas that we should not be spending on or perhaps uh, do s more smarter um, uh, evaluations so that we cost minimize, that is minimize the cost of whatever we decide to spend on. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. I, I, I appreciate the comments. And I, I, had, I apologize for not having heard your original statements about that uh, particular private organization. I just would suggest, and I, I totally endorse your notion of having the, the information available to the public. I, I would just suggest we look at if, if there's a way to make an existing s source that doesn't cost the state anything be more accurate, that that, that might be uh, uh, an alternative to look at. Uh, but one way or the other, I agree with you, we should make it available. I know in other states where they do this, it's actually been a helpful tool mm -hmm. in enabling people to uh, re research and provide ideas to their st to their mm -hmm. representatives on uh, how savings can be achieved. So well, we, we have a effort here. Uh, thank you, if I may, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, we, uh, we have a, a not-for-profit organization right in this building. It's called the Office of Fiscal Analysis, uh, a nonpartisan, I should say. And therefore, with minimum computer, um, uh, some additional computer, perhaps, uh, capacity, we can have it run right out of here. I don't see why not. It's a nonpartisan group. It's not... It's not a complicated thing. I mean, I deal with computers all the time. It's not that complicated. Mm -hmm.